Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Story Time with Miss Debbie. Today I chose the story, Wash Your Hands. I chose this story because now it's almost winter and we catch a lot of colds. So we'll read a little bit about how to wash your hands. But before we get started, let's go over the parts of the book. As we know, this is the cover of the book, the cover of the book has the title of the book, and it also has a little illustration about the story. This is called the back cover of the book. On the back cover of the book, sometimes we'll find a brief description of what the story is going to be about. This is called the spine of the book. This is the part that holds the pages together. Every book has an author. An author is the person who writes the story. The author of this book is Margaret McMara. Every book also has an illustrator. The illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. The illustrator of this book is Mike Gordon. Now let's go into the book and see what the story is going to be about. Wash your hands. These are our hands, and we should be washing them all the time. Everyone in Mrs. Connor's class has a cold. You see all the children? They're all a little bit sick. Achoo! <coughs> Achoo! Nick sneezed. Jamie coughed. We all know when we cough, we need to cover our mouth like this. Emma Blue, we have a lot of germs in our classroom, said Miss Connor. So when our nose is drippy and we're sneezing, we always take a tissue and blow our nose. I do not see any germs, said Michael. Germs are too small to see, said Mrs. Connor, but germs are powerful. They can make you sick. So the students say, we don't see any germs, but germs are very, very tiny. When we sneeze and when we cough, sometimes they can get on us and then they'll get us sick. I am sick of this cold, said Nick. If I could see those germs, I would beat them up. I know. A good way to get rid of germs, said Mrs. Connor. So the children were tired of coughing and sneezing. So they wanted to see these germs. Who would like to show me how to wash your hands, she asked. So there's a nice line and all the children are waiting to wash their hands. I will, said Reza. He turned on the cold water and stuck his hands underneath. So he's in the bathroom and there are the sinks and he put his hands onto cold water. You forgot the soap, said Nia. She pumped out a little soap and rinsed her hands. Done, she said. So we take a little bit of soap and we wash our hands. We make sure there's a little bit of bubbles and that means we are washing them clean. You both did a good job, said Mrs. Connor but not good enough job to get rid of those germs. The best way to get rid of germs, she said, is to sing. Sing, asked the class. I wonder what she means by sing. <clears throat> Mrs. Connor said, roll up your sleeves, please. She turned on the warm water and gave everyone some soap. So she had everyone roll up their sleeves so the sleeves don't get wet. And she gave everybody a little bit of soap with a little bit of warm water, not cold. Then Mrs. Connor sang, wash your hands with soap each time and remember the short rhyme. Let the water run really warm. So she was singing that song to the children. Stop those germs from doing harm. Keep on washing, make it fun. Now you know how it's done. So she was singing a little rhyme and all the kids were enjoying washing their hands. 
That is the ABC song, said Becky. Now it is the wash your hands song, said Jamie. So that's the song they used to sing for the ABCs. And now it's going to become the washing of the hands song. Like Bay One Preschool, we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to wash our hands. The first graders sang the wash your hands song every time they washed their hands. So now everywhere they went, in their home, in their garden, in their kitchen sink, they washed their hands with the song. Soon everybody got better. I told you I could beat those germs, said Nick. The kids came back to school and they were feeling better. The end. So we always put a little bit of soap, you pump it in your hand, we wash our hands. And at Bay One, we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And when the song is over, we wash, we rinse our hands, the soap off our hands, and then we dry them. Thank you for listening to Miss Debbie's Storytime. Bye.